everybody how are you i was gonna say like sorry it's been so long since i uploaded but in my terms it hasn't actually been that long i've gone longer than this but i hope you're all very very well i am actually just about to hit a wall and probably should have made a cup of tea before starting this i have been working in the morning and then Spent the rest of the afternoon creating content and now and i didn't sleep well and i just feel super tired so if you could please like offer your support at this difficult time that would be great um so i have done a fair bit of thrifting lately and it's really not on i really shouldn't because it's the longest month in the whole wide world haven't been paid in so long i should be saving up for other things but I actually held like an Instagram meetup charity shop kind of crawl at the weekend so how could I have done that and not shopped it would have been impossible and I also went thrifting a few days before that so I've got quite a collection of things to show you um so should we just get on with it also yes my bedroom looks different it does indeed I did start vlogging it when I started it eight million years ago so I have all that footage, I just haven't looked at that footage because I'm still not done. So, don't know what to do about that. But, okay, let's start with, I actually thrifted this like a couple of weeks ago, but she's so cute, I thought I'd show her. It's this Peter Pan collared sweatshirt. It's originally from m and I got it in Demelza Hospice. It was £4 or £4.50. And I'm really enjoying it. I've worn it a few times and I've styled it a couple of times, so like Instagram reels, and I like it. I am still toying with the idea of dyeing it because white is just an impossible colour. Obviously, I'm leaning towards pink, but we shall see. We shall see. Maybe I'll just wait till I stain it and then I'll dye it. I don't know. She's an upcycling queen. Um, so let me start with what I got on my thrift trip because I've just styled it all for... Well, not really styled it. I tried it all on for an Instagram reel. So it's right at my fingertips. <laughs> Um, when I'm tired, I get in a really funny mood and I start doing accents and they travel. They're not good accents. They go all around the world. Do bear with. I need a nap. From the thrift trip. Um, by the way, if you're local to Kent and or London, anywhere in the southeasty kind of region, um, that was the second meetup that I have held. We just meet people from the internet and hit the charity shops together. Everyone's welcome to come as long as you don't plan on murdering us. Um, so yeah, um, a really lovely girl, Laura, made everyone bracelets. I made badges for everyone. It was a wholesome, wholesome time. Anyway, I don't remember where this one's from and there's no tag on it. I think it might be from um, a little independent charity shop called A Hava, maybe? I can't remember if they had labels on their clothes or not. I do not remember where this one's from, but it's a little George cardigan with a little collar. Again, she loves her collars. I've got beef with it though. It's got these buttons on it, which are like wrapped in the same kind of woolen fabric and it makes them so hard to do up. I'm thinking of taking them off and just adding a nice contrast button, maybe a red button or maybe like a, a jazzy kind of diamante button or something i don't know don't know but i just feel like maybe it should be jazzed up a bit it's very gray obviously um and yeah it makes it really difficult to do up so yeah this would not have been very expensive uh, but i could not tell you how much it was or where i purchased it from because like i said there's no tag on her anyways um i got something that's been on my mental thrifting wish list um it's kind of like a cardigan top just black kind of ribbed it's not like knitted so like you could wear it without anything under it under it and you probably won't sweat your titties off but um yeah I've been kind of wanting something like this for a while because I had one and she didn't really fit she gaped around the boobies so yeah this was £1.50 £1.50 in guessing RSPCA because it says helping animals locally but there's nothing else on there actually but yeah £1.50 pretty chuffed with that don't mind if I do um ma, 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 ma. I got this little scarf thing it's like a leopard printy scarf you could actually do loads with this 
oh yeah by the way I mean you've probably noticed but I am including the clips from when I tried on some of these pieces but I don't have clips for everything so sorry but yes as you can see in this clip I am styling the scarf in several different ways I actually wanted a leopard print scarf it was on my mental thrifting wish list um is she kind of exactly what I was looking for no honey she's not but when you only shop second hand you kind of got to go with what you can get I wanted something a little bit more lightweight maybe slightly sheer just to like drape down I don't know she's not exactly what I was after but she does the job for now and we love that for her um a pound I think one pound in cents in Gravesend it's a little M&S scarf and I know it would have done some lovely old girl a very good turn I got this little this saucy little top thing um it's a kind of tiger print sort of affair two pound fifty in cents it's a little bit snug but I'm gonna roll with it um it's giving me obviously cat slater vibes anything leopard print would do and i love eastenders so that's a bit of me i think yeah she's cute i like her reminds me of something i owned in my teens actually um in ymca for three pounds i got this cutie little top originally from h&m super sweet my one problem with it is that i did not realize it's fully sheer at the front well not fully the the booby cup is lined and then the rest is not, but my boobies don't fit the whole cup. There's some spillage, so I have to layer it with like a little camisole top on underneath, but it is what it is. That was three pounds. Happy with that. YMCA, I also got this red top with a little frill detail. And I actually have this same top. It's not the same, but it must be from the same collection. Same top in white, but a short sleeve basically just got this little frill on and I got this because I've got a red long sleeve t-shirt that I like very much I layer it every not every day I layer it a lot at the minute but it's got a lower neck neckline and you know it's January it's not warm out there um and this is a little bit higher so I thought that would do the job lovely job lily and uh, £2.50 Bob's your uncle Fanny might well be your aunt and then I got another red top, but this one's just here. And again, this was from Ahava. I literally walked in this shop, saw it hanging on a rail, picked it up, pissed Amy off because she was like, you're getting all the good stuff. Um, but we can share, so it's all good. But yeah, it's this cute little vintage -y red top with little rhinestone flowers on. Really nice quality. It feels nice when you wear it. And then like a kind of wider, I don't know. It just feels really nice when I have it on. It's not from a brand I'm familiar with. It's from Multiply. I wonder if it's a synthetic or a natural fabric because it does feel really nice. Yeah, it's viscose and elastane. It feels super nice. So that's a surprise. And again, I don't remember how much this was, but it was from the kind of charity shop where everything's just super cheap. I did notice today though, it's got a little hole in it. It's like someone's accidentally gone at it with a scissor. The trials and tribulations of shopping secondhand. Um, I got two belts. I got this one, which thank God didn't fit Laura. So I snatched it off her like the snake I am. Um, but Laura wanted it as like a jean belt, whereas I would probably wear it more around, around my waist with a skirt. So I was lucky I, I could get it on. I think this, I think the fella charged me a quid because he was lovely. I loved him. This was from the YMCA. I don't know where my other belt is right now, but it's only a little, um, oh, there she is. I got... I thrifted this leopard print belt in scents. It was a pound. Oh yeah, the leopard print scarf, did I say that was from scents? That was from Ahava. Um, yeah, I thrifted this leopard print belt because in my head I was like, your leopard, pr pr <laughs> your leopard print belt is broken. You threw it away. Well, my leopard print belt is falling apart, not broken. But I didn't throw it away. I literally found it today, 10 minutes ago. And I was like, oh, she's still here. She's still there, but like all of the stuff's coming off and I've glued it several times. So we've got a replacement. Maybe I'll keep wearing the other one until she fully disintegrates though and then I've got a backup. But yeah, it's just a little Primark belt. Nice little details here. 
one of your English pounds. You can't complain. I've bought three belts this week. There's three belts in this haul. Can you believe it? Um, I've got this dress in probably my favourite charity shop in Dartford. You heard it here first. Um, it's the Scope in Dartford. I will say, this dress is from Shein. If you don't know, I dislike Shein very, very much. Um, but I'd rather own a piece that I like and have it be from Shein than have it just end up in landfill. I do think £6.50 for a Shein dress is a little bit steep, but I really liked it. So it's just this black ribbed dress with this, um, there's a word for this. I'm sure there would be. And it's very, very long. It goes all the way down to my ankles, would you believe? Um, and it's like a bodycon. Now, normally a bodycon isn't extremely scary to me. But I've decided to just roll with it. Like Oasis said, you've got to roll with it. So I went for it. I rolled with it. Rocking and rolling. Um, the last thing I think from that particular day, don't worry, there is more to show, is a waistcoat. If you don't follow me on Instagram, then you won't know that I am fully in my waistcoat era. Um, um, and I love them so much. So this is a vintage one. It's from Adetti A Lavori, made in Italy. Right, got it in the YMCA for five pounds. Isn't she gorgeous? She's a little floral number it's um mm, it's not cord but it's very similar to cord god if only i knew my fabrics eh let's consult the label pure cotton um well, it's cotton but it's it's giving a kind of like brushed brushed cotton perhaps um got some news to tell you about this guys this waistcoat very well might have been on the telly or even on the silver screen big news here got a famous waistcoat the fella who works in the shop said that this was donated by a props department so i've got to get on the old google and have a little look see if i've got a famous waistcoat on my hands that i snagged for a fiver um now there is a theater local to this charity shop that's been having a renovation because i believe it's roof caved in it might have come from that props department but he did say that it could well have been on film in films and tv so i'm gonna take his word for it why would he lie to me i don't think he would so um that's everything that i bought on my little thrift trip now here are some things that i purchased whilst all by myself. I've got a bloody lovely belt, I'm not gonna lie to you. I think this was two pounds, two pound fifty in Wisdom Hospice. It's only Primark, but it's bloody lovely. It's like suede and then got like gold coins on almost. I enjoy it. I've worn it already twice. Big fan, big, big fan. Now the next top I have made a mistake with. Um, so it's a very nice, animal print blouse it's a little bit sheer it's a little bit fun i pay four pounds for it in cancer research and it ties down the middle and it had like a a beigey kind of color tie with it and i thought to myself oh do you know what i think that actually needs to be replaced with a nice red red tie thing it didn't um i'm just yet to change it back so i'll show it to you but it looks really bad yeah this is not giving me life so i need to put the other one back on but i can't bother to do it right now but yes i love this blouse very much it's got gorgeous little sleeves and again it's giving me cat slater vibes what else have you got hannah um she's got an Another grey cardigan. Should one haul have two grey cardigans? Probably not. Um, this was £3 from Age UK and it's like a ballet cardigan. It's a woolly wrap cardigan. Taking me back to my ballet days of yesteryear. Um, it's not wrapped up right now as you can see. But I think I have a picture of it to show you. Um, I got a, a tartan skirt. Again, it's a wrap skirt and it's currently not done up. So I, for every Christmas, I feel like I'm on the hunt for the perfect tartan skirt. Never prevails. I do have a couple. One of them's too small. One of them's too long. Um, they're just, just never quite right. 
and I this one's a size 16 so I did think it's probably going to be too small and it is but the beauty of a wrap skirt is you can just move that button so I'm gonna have a day soon where I kind of sit down and like do some alteration easy alterations that I can manage to my clothes like changing buttons moving buttons changing lace on tops um so yeah I thrifted this in Gillingham Street Angels I think they price their skirts at two or three pounds it's a very rare charity shop where they just have a sign on the wall that tells you how much stuff is and like there's a set price for everything I love it so yeah like two three pounds it's just a little new look skirt but it's the perfect one I've been looking for for years just got to move them buttons and then we will be golden and I won't just wear it at Christmas FYI she will have her time in the sun all year round um ma, 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 ma. oh she's she's so leopard i thrifted this top in aguk for two pound fifty it's brand new with tags originally five pounds just a little primark leopard print high neck top this appealed to me because again like the red top i've got a leopard print long sleeve top that i love layering with stuff but again that neckline is just a little bit low a little bit chilly so this is perfect and it's super soft unbelievably soft can't wait to just in this um yeah very pleased with that there's the thing that's got to go back in the top <laughs> um i got two scrunchies these were 50 pence in scope and there was loads of them i think someone must have donated all their handmade scrunchies so thanks for that hun i actually on my invisible thrifting wish list wanted a red scrunchie is she exactly what I wanted? No, probably not because it's not, it's probably going to break on my stupid amount of hair. And I kind of wanted like a big, a big scrunchie. But for the time being, I like her. And I also just thought this was a nice colour. It's a little bit more khaki than it's picking up right now. It's very, very green on the camera, but it's a little bit more subtle in real life, like me. So yeah, they were 50p each and I don't want to end on a low, so I'll do the low next. I was um in the queue in the charity shop and the, God bless her, the lady behind the till, ever so nice, she said to me, I've got a top here that I think is really you. And I was like, ears perking up. Oh yeah, what you got for me? And she was like, oh, it's this, this top that's a pound. And I was like, hmm okay now this top is fine for someone else it's just not me um i'm not a big fan of river island's branding and it's got the ri all over it obviously to the untrained eye you wouldn't actually notice that and it would just look like diamonds but yeah the whole thing is just not my jam and that's fine we can't all like the same stuff it would be a silly world if we did but yeah um she was like it's only a pound it'd be rude not to i was like yes okay i'll take that so now I've got this top um, that I shall probably pop on my Instagram and ask anyone if they want it for the price of postage. Um, so, yeah, but I didn't want to end on that low note. So my final thing I have to show you, actually, it's not. I've got something hanging in my wardrobe. I'm completely lying to you. I have to go get it in a minute. I've got this T-shirt. It was £4.50 in Wisdom Hospice, and it's just... Anyone that's been here a while, you'll know I love a black and white stripe, like a Breton stripe sort of affair. And I don't wear it that much anymore. It's very 2013 to 2016 Hannah coded, I feel like. But I liked this a lot. It's just a little ragged priest one. Um, It's got a nice little kind of wider sleeve. Not too long, not too short. I just liked her. And I thought I'm going to play homage to my younger self. Um so that's why i got that now i'm gonna have to get off my fat ass to get the last thing to do that with the last thing is this dress it's very long let me tell you about her so when i went thrifting the other day i took pictures of loads of stuff in the charity shops as i often do and i'd gotten so much footage i thought i'd play a little game of thrift or ditch which is where you put a picture up of something you saw in a charity shop add a poll and say would you thrift this or would you ditch this and this cos dress was nine pounds in bhf so many people wanted to ditch it it was like 80 something percent but it was well over 200 people said ditch i was in shock the only reason i didn't thrift it was because it had a 14 cube on i wouldn't generally fit in a 14 and it was nine pounds and i'm very stingy 
Not as any, and I don't tend to go for a bodycon style, she says, buying two bodycon dresses this week. And it's not actually bodycon, it's a bit looser, but just that straight down kind of style, you know, that's not generally what I tend to gravitate towards to. But I was offended on the behalf of this dress for how many people said no. And also it's not a 14, it just says a large. I didn't look at that. It, just, it was just on a 14 hanger. So I went back to the charity shops the next day and that's just reminding me I do have one more thing to show you. Um, I went back the next day to get the other thing. And I thought, I'm going to go in the BHF and see if it's still there. And lo and behold, she was. And I thought, I'm going to show everybody that said this, they would ditch this, that they are wrong. Poor thing. Bless her heart. Um, so I did that. And I filmed a reel earlier, styling that dress. To hopefully prove people wrong. I'm not going to do another poll though. Because if, if everyone still wants to ditch it after seeing it on me. Then I'm going to leave the internet forever. But I just thought she was cute. She doesn't actually fit me that great. She's too big. <laughs> Never happens to me. Um, Yeah it's a, li a little bit like baggy here and here. But she I still like it. I'll show you some clips of me styling it. If you hate it don't tell me. Because I will have a breakdown. But... I don't know. I also just really like these colours together. I think it's a vibe. If you don't, that's on you. And £9 for a cos dress, that is a steal. Not a literal steal, I did pay for it. So yeah, the other thing I went back for, because in the thrift or ditch, everyone told me that I should have got this, so I went back for her. And I got this jumper. It's really cute. I like it a lot. The neck is a bit necky bit too necky perhaps but we'll see this was it's vintage it's very vintage um smells like a nana five pound fifty from cats protection and that's that oh can i make it oh god oh. i hope you enjoyed my haul i enjoyed filming it for you very much can't wait to take my makeup off and have a cup of tea isn't that lovely um thank you so much for watching i will see you soon i'll see you soon for another video congrats for making it this far not in life just in the video thanks bye <laughs>